Remember a couple weeks ago when we tried to fix the gussets on the Forester and we ended up just using some black tape and hoping it worked? Well, it didn't as you guys saw. So I have a new solution and I looked it up. I looked at the diagrams of how the gussets are made and there's actually a metal strip. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it just using some clamps and a couple pieces of plastic. So we're gonna be working on the driver's side one, but it's exact same process for the passenger side. It's just the driver's side is like horrible and it's probably the worst example of it. So first what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna roll down your window because you wanna to get to this piece right here. Next, you wanna take off this piece of trim or plastic. I believe it just pops off, but let me get it off and then I can tell you for sure. I was correct. So all it is is it's just three little things. So you just pry it out there, there, and there. And then if you do have a heated mirror, you can unplug it. This goes to there, but this car does not have the heated mirror as it was part of the luxury model. So what we're mainly focusing on, as I said, is this piece right here. And what we're actually trying to do is we're trying to pretty much pull it and crimp it together so that it makes a better seal on the window. And that's where the clamps come in. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can just see the little bit of metal where it starts. It pretty much starts right here. And now all you're gonna do is put a couple pieces of plastic on each side where the um, metal bracing starts for the gusset and then take your clamp and just clamp down on that. And then that will actually bend it back into the proper position sealing against the window just like that. So there it's now squeezed against. I don't know if you guys can see, but now the seal is actually pushed right up against. So now once I release it, you'll see it's actually a bit closer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna open up the window, or bring the window up, see how much it pushes against, and see where we need to fix it. So here is good, but on the other side is not. So we're gonna take the other side of the window and push this in. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but once you get it finished, you should have the whole rubber seal against the window. For most simple windows, this works pretty well. As you can see, it seals all the inside. The inside's all sealed, but the outside here is not, just not quite sealing. So if you have an extremely bad seal like I do, which we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove the mirror. So all the mirror is, is one here, one here, and then there's one more screw there, and then the mirror will pop right off. There we go, as you can see, the seal is actually like completely closed when the window's open, but check it out once I close the window. It runs all the way up, so it kind of pushes its way out, and then as it reaches the top, it actually hits where I need to fix. But if you look, it's sealed all the way on this side, and sealed all the way on this side. So there we go, we'll have no wind noise anymore, and that was actually a super easy fix compared to putting new gussets on, which are also very expensive. As you guys know, I like to put stuff away um, clean. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get some Fantastic and clean this up and then put some protectant here and then we can close this back up and I'll show you how to seal this part on the gusset. Now that we got everything protected and put back, it's time to put back this little piece and then it's time to fix the other spot. You can definitely see the difference it makes when you squish the metal together. There's a little bit of gap here and a little bit of gap here but I much rather have a little bit of gap on the trim and have no wind noise because the wind noise is just super annoying. Now it's time to fix the um, little bit of rubber grommet that's broken and we're gonna use um, pretty much liquid black tape. I didn't even know this existed but someone suggested it on a forum about fixing it and it supposedly it works really well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much just put it where it would be with the window up and then liquid black tape it. So what I did is I put a little bit of black tape just to set the like frame for it and then we're gonna just use this liquid black tape all along here and eventually this black tape here is just gonna be peeled off. This is just to hold it together while we put the black tape on. So this stuff, you have to do multiple coats. So what I'm gonna do is gonna lay the first coat So there we go, we finally have it layered up. This probably took a couple hours just because I worked my way from the bottom up. So I like layered it here, let it dry, layered it here, let it dry, layered it here, let it dry. 
and then I went ahead and put a bunch on it a couple times just so it would be nice and thick. So right now it's still drying. So we're going to have to let that dry for quite a while actually. It takes a long time. It says 10 hours on the thing. I probably won't let it dry for 10 hours because that means leaving my cart open overnight. While we were working on that one, I actually completely did the other side because the other side was so much easier just because it wasn't as beat up much. So there it is, the final product. And see, it seals on the door on both the outside and the inside and then there's just a little part that I had to patch up. So that was really easy actually. Um, if you don't have bad gussets, that's super easy. It doesn't take any time at all. It's when it's as bad as my driver's side is when it takes a long time. Anyway, so this is pretty much got to dry so that's gonna be it for the video. But there you go, now you can repair your gussets without having to go buy brand new ones for like 40, 50 bucks a piece because they don't make them anymore. I'll let you guys know if the wind noise isn't fixed by this, but if I don't say anything, it will probably be fixed. And I'm assuming it's fixed because everyone says it works really well online. Also, if you guys have a Forester, or this actually works on pretty much any model of Subaru that uses these rubber gussets that has the frameless windows. So if any of you guys have wind issues, try that and it'll probably work. Anyways, that is it for today. So until next time, peace out and stay humble.